All right. So Divi has this main command center where you can go in and do your initial setups. So this is what we need to go in and uh, so I can show you how to set it all up. So what I'm going to do now is to come all the way down here to Divi and click on theme options. So this is sort of like your area where you can do your initial setups. So let's start here with a general tab. So over here, the first thing is your logo. Your logo is very, very important. So this is where you need to initially upload it. So all you have to do is to click here on upload. And if you don't have your logo in your media library, just come over here, click on select files. This is going to open up all your, all your files on your computer or your folders. So you can just navigate to where that logo is and click on open. Now, once you hit open, it's going to be added onto your library here and your logo is set. So that's, so that's how you get your logo set. Let's move on to the next part. And this is also very, very important. So over here, we have our color palette. So this is where you'd add your color palette. There are several ways you can look for color palettes. Uh, there's, um, tools and there's also websites that you can go and set up your color palettes and adding your colors to your color palette is very 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 easy but the good thing is once you set up your color palette here it follows you pretty much everywhere as you're designing your website so let's say you're designing a button your color palette is going to show all the colors that you initially set here so it's important that you set up your color palette here so the service that I use for generating my color palettes is called coolers.co. So if we hit start generator here, this will give us some color palettes that work really well together. So you can start building your color palette here. So let's say you go in and um, you adjust your shades and you're pretty much happy with, uh, say, these colors here. All you have to do now is to copy the hexadecimal value like that and then come to your website, click over here and add that color just like that. So you want to continue doing this until you've added all your colors. So let's go ahead and add a second one. So I'm, I'm going to copy this one here, come back, and replace that. So as you can see, I am replacing my colors here. In fact, I've uh, gotten rid of the first color that I added. So let's go back and put it back in. So here we go. I'm going to go in and paste it like that. So we can continue adding all our colors. So this one here could be maybe a white, there we go. And then you can continue adding all your colors. Now, once you're set, all you have to do is to scroll all the way down here and hit save changes and your color palette is saved. Now let's move on and talk about other things here. So normally I don't really use any of these. So block style uh, mode, I don't use any of that. Sidebar, if you want, you can just um, place it to the left or right. But again, I don't really use this because DV gives us uh, the flexibility of having full width pages. So all these shop categories, you know, I don't really mess with that. Um, Google API, I don't really use that too. And use Google fonts. This is activated for us, which is fantastic. So as I move forward here, I mean, all these icons, I normally add them manually. So I would come here and disable these. Now, moving on, I mean, if you wanted to keep them enabled, you can add your profiles over here, the URLs. But like I said, I do this manually. So pretty much that's all I need to do here on this command center. Now, let's move on to the other tabs. So over here on uh, performance, this is where all these uh, items are checked. This is what makes your website fast. But sometimes if you have uh, some issues, you can just disable these just to see if that makes a change to your website. Okay, next on the navigation here, again, I keep these simple. I just keep it as it is. So we have categories here, so these will show. But over here now we have the builder. And again, these uh, the builder here shows where it's enabled. So it's enabled on posts, pages, and projects. So that means if you're designing, uh, say, your blogs, your builder is going to be activated on that, which is brilliant because... You want to use Divi to highly customize your, your designs as you're building your website. Okay, so let's move on. And, and then over here, we have the advanced. I don't mess around with this, so I'll just leave it as it is. And let's move on to the layout. So over here on the layout, again, this area here, I just leave it as it is. I don't really mess with that. Even on the single page layout, I just leave this as it is. The ads. Pretty much, I don't touch this, okay? Uh, this is uh, pretty old. I mean, this is for adding banners on your website. So I don't use this at all. And it's disabled as well. Let's move on to the next one. For SEO, again, 
do not use this. Uh, there's a better way of adding SEO to our website uh, using some uh, plugins. Uh, and the plugin here is called Rank Math. It's very, very good. Rank Math. R-A-N-K-M-A-T-H. Right now over here on integration, again, this is where you would come in and add your header code. You know, like sometimes you have your codes you get from say Facebook or Google. This is where you'd come in and add all your codes uh, to your header, for example. All right, so we've already spoken about the, uh, the updates. So this is uh, where you'd add your API key and also do your rollback. Now there's also one feature which a lot of people don't even talk about. And that is all these settings that we've gone through here, can also be exported. So if you come over here, you notice that I clicked on portability, you can export these theme options and then use them on another website. So let's say I export them like that. I can just give them a name and then export. And this is exporting our color palette, by the way, and all the settings that we've done. So here it is, it's a .json file. I can now go to any other Divi website and import these DV theme settings. So this is a really, really cool feature. And uh, this is what we get from our main, I'd like to call it command center.